Firstly, as I'm sure you'll be aware after all the raving I've done about her for the last two years, to announce Tori Amos in the studio. Welcome to the show, Tori. Thank you. And back to Australia. But this is the end of a huge tour for you. How long have you been on the road for? Since February. Um, I think it's about 177 days so far so we're i'm getting a second win though it's funny how you get near the finish line and you're like no 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 i want to go around the track one more time give me some gatorade i think i can make it well the, you've almost done that in australia because the, the, in sydney i know there was only one concert planned there's now three um but this is the double cd that you've also released to commemorate i suppose is the right word only in australia have we done this? This has got um, a lot of the B-sides that I've done over the past couple years that you can't really find um, anywhere else in a compilation like this. So we did it in Australia. Right, and I read also that you've just been writing a duet with Michael Stipe from R.E.M. Yes, it was um, so fantastic to work oh, I with him. Imagine, he's just like such a different being from another planet. <laughs> And you've also yeah. got the, I noticed that you, um, well, I've, I've listened to it as well, but on the Tom Jones album, you're on one of the songs there. Do you get a lot of requests from people who are wanting to work with you on different things? I don't know about a lot. Um, I've done something with Robert Plant that I'm really excited about. He wanted to sing on his own tribute album because he didn't think anybody else could do it quite properly. <laughs> So um, he asked me if I would sing with him, and how can you not sing with your idol? I mean, it was such a hoot. I believe you're going to perform Complete Girl for us now. Well, if you want to run over to the set that we've created specially for this. But if you want to catch the full concert, and I would definitely advise it, she's in Melbourne tonight. Where are we? Brisbane on the 4th, Sydney from the 6th to the 8th of December, Adelaide on December 10th, and Perth on December 12th. And right now she's going to perform Cornflake Girl for us, a song which I believe is inspired by Alice Walker's wonderful novel, Possessing the Secret of Joy. Here she is on Video Smash Hits, Tori Amos. Good morning to you. Today we meet up with one of the world's most enigmatic artists, Tori Amos, the redhead from the US of A, who started a musical career at the age of two and a half when she was labelled a child prodigy. These days she travels the world with a piano, her voice and her powerful and emotional songs. Tori invited me to join her in the seaside, the beautiful seaside town of Kinsale in County Cork, Southern Ireland, where she just finished recording her newest album, Boys for Pele. Is the cornflake girl, Tori Amos. Why did you decide to record in, in this part of the world? Um, at first, it was just an instinct. And then I started thinking about what this record's really about, which is stealing fire. Stealing fire from uh, the men that have been part of my life. I harnessed energy, whether it was men that I thought were brilliant lights or brilliant shadows. I thought they had something that I, that I didn't. And when I kind of was just um, left with my marble, shall we say, you know, you hit bottom. There has to be a place for any realization to happen. You have to hit bottom. So basically, this album is a way of justifying or explaining a hectic love life, is it? Well, funny you say that, because some, some, and don't take this wrong, Richard, but some, especially men, will say that, and writing these songs, each is a fragment that I wouldn't look at, uh, whether it's the widow in me, the black widow. And as I started to call them forth, I started to see what real power is. No one's picking up the phone. Guess it's me and me and this little masked. She's lifting up her dress. Guess I thought I could never feel things I feel and you know it's that moment of why am I with somebody who doesn't want to fly 
Why am I drawn to forces that I know I have access to, that I just don't know how to get to them? It's a very different Tory, I'm sure, the one who writes and creates to the one we see on stage seducing the audience. Really, there's so many different frequencies that you deal with, and um, certain parts just come forth to do that, and then some tootle off, like, you know, it's just not appropriate behavior. Mm. And, it, and, it, and it's not called up. Um, when I'm singing the songs, there's a different force I tap into than when I'm talking. A lot of the people who listen to your music and see you perform are seeking help and inspiration of one form or another. What sort of responsibility do you feel to pass on some words of encouragement and help? There is a line that you have to walk of sacredness to, to, to the sacredness, to the intimacy, because this was all spot inspired by intimate experiences since I was a little girl. Um, of the boys, men that crossed my life, and yet not censor um, how it's helped me to claim my womanhood. You see, so it's taking the lessons and the gifts, because now from where I sit, they are gifts. What they didn't give and what they did give are all gifts. Yeah, that's her current single, Quarter Lights These. Quite a girl, isn't she? That's Tori Amos, uh, the cornflake girl, alternatively known as. The new album is called Boys for Pele. It was released last week from uh, Warner Music. And uh, tomorrow on the show, we'll have all the latest movie releases for you. So there you go. Quite a hypnotic little thing, isn't she? She's, um, but she kind of lives in a... You were sort of swaying just a fraction. She lives in a world of her own, Tori, and uh, it's a <laughs> nice place to visit now and then. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. His eyes are still blazing. He was a little, he, he was a little. Oh, I know, it was last.